Greetings everyone, welcome to a &E Learning Hub. I'm going to go through the solutions for question one from the 2019 CSEC Electrical and Electronic Pass paper. So let's begin. Part A, it says, in the space provided, sketch and label a carbon film fixed resistor that has four color-coded bonds. On your sketch, identify the name of each of the bonds. So here is a diagram of the fixed resistor. It has four bonds. The first bond represent digit one. The second bond represent digit two. The third bond represent the multiplier and the fourth bond represent the tolerance. So that's it for part A. Let's move on to part B now. So it says three resistors, R1, R2, and R3, are of equal volume, 50 ohm. The resistors are connected to form a series parallel circuit with two resistors in parallel with each other and in series with the third resistor. A 15 volt DC source is connected across this resistive network. Part one of B, it says in the space provided, sketch and label the series parallel circuit. So here I have a diagram of the series parallel circuit with R1 and R2 in parallel and the parallel portion of the circuit is in series with R3 and they're connected across a 15 volt DC source. So that's it for part one of B. For part two, it says calculate the total resistance of the circuit in V1. Now, before we can calculate the total resistance, we will have to first calculate the equivalent resistance volume for R1 and R2. So that equivalent resistance volume, we're going to call it REQ1. And we're going to use the product of a sum method. So REQ1 is equal to R1 multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. That will equal to 50 ohm multiplied by 50 ohm divided by 50 ohm plus 50 ohm. That will equal to 2,500 ohm square divided by 100 ohm. And that will give us a final answer of 25 ohm. Now, the next step is to replace R1 and R2 with the equivalent resistor value of 25 ohm. And here I have the circuit showing that. So this is the equivalent circuit with REQ1, 25 ohm in series with R3. So now we can go ahead and calculate the total resistance. So RT, is equal to REQ1 plus R3, and that will give us 25 ohm plus 50 ohm, and that will equal to 75 ohm. So RT is 75 ohm. So that's it for part two of B. All right, so let's move on to part three now. So it says, determine the amount of current passing through one of the resistors in parallel. The first thing that we'll have to do is to calculate the total current, All right? So looking back at the circuit, we were given the total voltage, which is 15 volts. We calculated the total resistance to be 75 ohm. So we can go ahead and calculate IT. So IT is equal to VT divided by RT, that is 15 volt divided by 75 ohm, that will give us 0.2 amp. All right, now, in order to determine the current flowing through one of the resistors in parallel, all right, we will have to determine the voltage drop for the resistors in the parallel portion of the circuit. And the reason why we'll have to do that is because it's a series parallel combination circuit. So it means that this parallel portion of the circuit here is in series with R3 here. So it means that 
this parallel portion of the circuit will have a voltage drop across it and also R3 will have a voltage drop across it. Or in other words, this 15 volt here will be shared between the parallel portion of the circuit and the R3. All right, so to find the voltage drop across the parallel portion of the circuit, we're going to use REQ1, and that's because REQ1 is the equivalent of R1 and R2. So VEQ1 is equal to I times REQ1, that is 0 0.2 amp multiplied by 25 ohm, and that will give us five volt. So it means that five volt is across REQ1, so therefore, five volts is across R1 and R2. So now we can go ahead and calculate the current flowing through one of the resistors in parallel. So we're going to use R1. So I1 is equal to V1 divided by R1. All right, so five volts divided by 50 ohm, and that will give us 0 0.1 amp. Now, in our previous video, I mentioned that when you have uh, two resistors in parallel and they are of the same volume, the current will be shared between them equally. All right. So if the total current for the circuit is 0 0.2 amp that we calculated before and R1 have 0 0.1 amp flowing through it, so it also means that R2 have 0 0.1 amp flowing through it as well. All right, so let's move on to part four. So it says, determine the value of the voltage drop across the resistor in series. All right, so we need to determine the voltage drop across R3. So we know the current that is flowing through R3, that is 0 0.2 amp, and we know the resistor value that is 50 ohm. So V3 is equal to I times R3, that is equal to 0 0.2 amp multiplied by 50 ohm, that will give us 10 volt. So as you can see, based on the calculation here, for R3, it has 10 volts across it. And for the parallel portion of the circuit, it has five volts across it. When I had up the two, voltage volume together, you will get about the total voltage for the circuit. So that's it for this question.